I mean, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. Every now and then, I like to mess around with some pretty fun snakes, and this one certainly is a lot of fun. Whoa, what are you doing? Come on, little monkey. Come on, little buddy. I got, whoa, whoa. Watch out, watch out, whoa. What are you doing? Whoa. I'm gonna get out this little guy here because he's absolutely incredible. And whoa, whoa, don't, don't do it. I hope that the start of your day is absolutely amazing. This happens to be a puffing snake and you can just see how incredible, whoa, how credible she is. I mean, take a look at that animal right there. And again, this thing's defense mechanism is such that it puffs that, let's see if we can get it to puff up. Look at it, it loves to puff that little neck up and it'll just blow it up to try to get predators to stay away from it. But snakes like this can sometimes be a challenge to handle. I mean, what, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, okay, all right. Definitely don't want to panic when it comes to snakes like this. And again, she's in a pretty good mood today. Every now and then, she will literally just start striking at everything. And uh, I definitely, but I want you to get a chance to see how beautiful and majestic that animal is. I mean, wow, look at that thing right there. I mean, that is so cool. And these guys get really long. They're a colubrid snake. And oh my gosh, that thing is so cool. So anyways, guys, I hope the start of your day is absolutely amazing. I'm going to show you some really cool snakes today. And uh, do a little bit of snake work because I got some, oh my gosh, she's puffing up now. This is so awesome. So what do you guys say we get things started? So on the docket today, I have to check some snakes for eggs. I also have to set up a bunch of baby ball pythons that just hatched. But you know, I just took out that puffing snake that is kind of a, a little bit of a feisty animal. And I don't want you guys to think that all snakes are feisty because you can certainly see this albino Burmese, her name is Sunrise, of course, is just absolutely puppy dog dame. So you know, in my life, you know, yes, I like to handle those slightly more challenging snakes because it's kind of fun and exciting. But the truth is the vast majority of snakes make amazing pets and are super placid. Why don't I go ahead and show you one of my more challenging snakes that uh, usually likes to get me. Her name, of course, is Loves to Nip. Okay, so Loves to Nip happens to be a jungle carpet python. And for anyone that follows the vlog for any length of time, you guys will recognize this animal. Now, she's actually a really cool snake, but you do have to be very careful because she does like to nip a little bit. And that's just kind of her personality when it comes to things. And so I just kind of keep her kind of, you see that? She's even gonna bite herself. So I try to keep her kind of occupied this way so she doesn't come around and bite me in the face or something like that. But the fact is, is when you're handling a snake that's slightly more challenging like loves to nip here what you want to do is just handle it with as much confidence as you possibly could whoo slow down girl you're okay you're okay and when you handle it with confidence the chances of getting bit are much less of course I'm playing with fire here I wouldn't suggest anyone to kind of be getting this close to your face to an animal that's really fired up like loves to nip but you can see she's absolutely an amazingly beautiful snake and that's kind of the whole kind of mission in my life is to try to get people to understand that these snakes aren't nearly as bad as what people think and even a snake like loves to nip Hey, listen, I'll even take a bite for you guys just to show you that it's not that bad. Ah, oh, come on, loves to nip. Ow! <laughs> All right, okay, so my point is is that that's what a snake bite is right there. It's not really that bad. You know, you see there's a little bit of leaking going on, but listen, it's that kind of fear of it lunging and people go, oh my gosh, but the fact is it's really not that bad. It looks far worse than it actually is. So, Loves to Nip is a beautiful snake. Look at her. Look at how amazing that is. And I just want to get people to love these animals. So anyways, that's enough of this. I'm going to go to work, get some baby snakes set up. What do you say? Okay, before I get started setting up all these baby snakes I wanted to go ahead and tell you guys thank you so much for your concern about the no-eyed snake and even the one-eyed snakes and thank you guys for being interested in taking care of these animals because that is so amazing so I want to just tell you what I'm gonna do one I'm gonna set these guys up and I'm gonna try to get them eating and as soon as I am I'm gonna try to reach out to as many of you guys that commented and stay in touch and maybe I'll make an announcement and do some kind of email chain and I'm just gonna try to find the best home not only for the no-eyed snake but also a couple 
couple of the one-eyed snakes and I'm not selling these I want to rehome them I'll cover the shipping costs and I'll cover all the costs to get them to you so I just wanted to let you guys know that you guys are incredible I love that you're animal lovers and it means the world to me we're gonna do the best we can do to possibly make sure that these animals have a great forever home so thank you guys so now I'm gonna set up a bunch of snakes including this little guy here the no-eyed one you're so cute I tell you what guys, I could not be more excited about this bamboo ball python stuff. I mean, these guys are absolutely incredible. Yesterday I showed you the video of unboxing these guys and we're setting them up today. And again, these are vanilla bamboos and womas and a whole bunch of other stuff, some pastels in there. And you know, the thing is, is that the reason why I think it is even more special to me is because I remember seeing the first picture of the bamboos out of Africa and I was absolutely blown away. And then I had the opportunity to buy a couple what were supposed to be super bamboos, which were solid white animals, but they were supposed to be bamboo to bamboo, just like lesser to lesser would produce a solid white snake. So do bamboo to bamboo. And I bought them, and I gotta be honest with you guys, I paid a lot of money. I'm talking about like, almost the cost of a house type money for these animals and I raised them up and I was so excited because I had the only supers in the whole world and I bred them and it turned out that they weren't super bamboos so uh, it was a little bit of a sour taste but so now getting back into the bamboos were so exciting and again it just kind of tells you you know you can't really you know you can't dwell on negativity you know I mean so I bought those animals things didn't work out I could sulk about it or I could just pick myself up and move on and now look at me I'm holding a whole handful of beautiful bamboos so uh, just keep going the way you are. So, all right, get these guys set up and then I'm done setting up baby snakes. All right, guys, so we are all set. We set up all the baby snakes for the day. These guys will get shed out, hydrated up. We'll start feeding them, and then we'll get them on the website here in a couple weeks. But uh, there's gonna be some I'm definitely be keeping back. Those bamboos are absolutely incredible. I actually have mentioned before that I'm setting up kind of an educational slash video colony of animals out in LA. So I got some scorpions in today that I'm gonna be shipping out to LA so I can meet up with them in a couple weeks when I go out there to do a bunch of video stuff. Uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and do a little scorpion handling challenge just just so you guys know I'm not comfortable at all with scorpions so let's see how that goes all right guys so once again we are kind of overcoming our fears well are you guys afraid of bugs no okay so we also have my niece Tori over here that is really not very familiar with most of this stuff but uh so what we have here is actually an Asian forest scorpion I don't really know much about these guys, um, but I know they're creepy and I'm not real comfortable with them. So who's picking this up first? I guess I will. <laughs> Let's All see, right. this is a first for me too. Oh. So. oh, look at you did it so easy. Oh my gosh. That is so awesome. Wow, that's oh, so yeah, cool. cool. <laughs> so, okay, so Tori, are you ready? Yeah. This is the first time that Tori has ever handled something like this. What do you think? I think it's pretty neat. Oh my goodness. Yeah? I've always wanted a scorpion, honestly. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. They kind of scare me, but they're cool. <laughs> <laughs> do I like push it or no? It goes backwards. It goes backwards? Yeah. Why does it do that? Yeah, I don't know. Do I just pick it up? I don't want to pick this thing up. <laughs> yeah, just be gentle. Ah, it's too freaky to me. I I'll let it crawl on me. Come on, crawl, crawl, crawl. Crawl! Crawl! Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh! That was horrifying! <laughs> Alright guys, what do I do now? The damn thing's running like crazy! Oh my gosh! It's freaking me out! Okay. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> there we go. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, holy, holy cow, guys. That thing is crazy. <laughs> it's really cool, though. Uh, and actually, I ended up picking up these guys because I wanted to uh, have oh uh, these for like Jessica, educational help. purposes. Jessica, help. Oh no, that one oh. just pinched me. <laughs> did it pinch you? Yeah, it did. Oh, goodness. Here. Let's pick it up. Oh, great. <gasps> now we have... let him sting me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, it's crawling on me. Oh, oh, it's going for your jugular. <laughs> Oh, it's pigeon her! It's pigeon her! <laughs> <laughs> Look at these things! That one's a mean one! 
Oh no. Holy moly. Oh. Man, this one looks really mean. That one, yeah. <laughs> I oh man, I'm not, oh, man. I'm not. Look at how big the tail is on that one. Uh -oh. I mean, as far as like up, that's... Do they bite? Do they I don't bite? know. Do they bite? Look at your fingers in there. <laughs> I don't want them to bite. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want them to kill each other. <laughs> I don't want your fingers in there either. <laughs> okay, note to self. In the future, we should probably do more research on animals before we're actually uh, messing with them because we don't know if they fight. We don't know anything about them. But now we have two scorpions that are running around. I think the only one that has any really guts in, in here is Jessica because everyone else is just afraid. <laughs> I'm, I'm terrified. But she even got pinched and she's just like, no big deal. Look, now this one's in the corner. Look at it. It's like, come get me. I dare you. Oh, I think they're both like, no, I'm ready to fight now. Oh, oh my gosh. So I don't know what to do here. Get back in here. Oh. Get back. It's not listening. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh. oh my God. Oh. Let's not do all that. Let's go in there. Oh, oh. Oh my gosh. One in? <laughs> oh my gosh, you are so crazy, Jessica. Look at you. Where's the lid? It's in there. Oh my gosh. I mean, I know that it's not gonna kill me, so. Oh my gosh. Listen, there you go. If you want to handle the scorpion, you don't talk to me. You don't talk to Kelsey. You certainly don't talk to Tori. Uh, you talk to Jessica. But uh, listen, it worked out pretty well, and that's pretty cool. I'm not so sure I'm going to be a scorpion expert anytime soon, but uh, thanks, guys. You did good. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, so it is an absolutely gorgeous day outside here in Michigan. So I'm gonna get out of the shop, go rendezvous with Lori, and just find something fun to do. So the first thing we have to do is actually go pick up some posters that we had made up for the Brian in the Wild Blu-ray and DVD. This is for our GoFundMe supporters, but I might have a couple left over that I might give away. So uh, let me pick these up, and then I'll tell you if I'll have some extras, and I'll uh, tell you how you might be able to win one. All right, guys, so we picked up the production posters right here. Again, this is Brian in the Wild. This this of course is my uh, wildlife documentary that we filmed over in Africa and uh, this is going out to a bunch of people that support us on Kickstarter and uh, pre-ordered the DVD. I think that I'm going to have maybe between two and five extras of these that I will sign and give away. So go ahead and comment down below and let me know and I'll pick two or five of you guys and I'll send one to you. So here is the poster right here. Uh, I think it turned out pretty good. So that is done for the day. On to the next thing. So it is an absolutely gorgeous evening here and uh, one of our great supporters Jen sent us this Rock'em Sock'em Robots. Now I haven't played this since I was a kid but I can tell you one thing Lori's been smack talking saying she can beat me and that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> Is it true that you think you could beat me? Of course I'm gonna beat you. You are not gonna beat me there's no possible way. <sighs> there's every possible way. All right it's on. Okay guys, the truth of the matter is Brian, number one, talks a bunch of crap and number two, cheats like none other. I did beat him fair and square, but don't listen to him about what he really had because the truth is, I think he only popped my guy's head like once, but we'll just give it to him. But I just wanted to set the record straight that he oh, isn't as good it. as he stop thinks it. he is. Don't you be telling them <laughs> lies. Don't tell them lies. <laughs> Listen, I tell the truth. <laughs> the truth comes from me. Ah, All right, guys, so the rest of the evening is gonna be spent right here with the family, just kind of chilling out by the fire, enjoying this beautiful night. Thank you so much for tuning in today. You guys are absolutely amazing, and your support means the absolute world to me. Please have an amazing day or evening or whatever it might be. Please make sure to smash that like button and hit that notification bell for me. Remember to be kind to somebody, and I promise I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow.